Every now and then, I get, like, mildly worried. Just, like, at some point throughout the day, I, I start to think, and I'm like, what am I gonna say during the episode tonight? Because, you know, I do this thing every night. Uh, and, and I'm just like, I'm not gonna have anything to say. I've run out of everything. And then I remember that that's happened for about five months. <laughs> and every day, just all kind of works out. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, sometimes it's better than others, sometimes it's not. Uh, usually during the days where I'm like, I have literally nothing to say, might not be good. Unless I stumble upon some weird story thing that I just happen to remember or something that I would feel like talking about. I don't fucking know. This show is so dumb and weird and just all over the place. It's, it's just... <laughs> I love it, but I love doing it. And it's, um, I don't know, uh, our goals are complete. Everything is done. All we need to do now is make sure we s continue to, uh, battle enough that we, uh, that we rank well. Uh, rank under 2,000, which we're at like 800 now, so we're kind of good. Uh, unless I want to use a key, I don't, I don't really have to do much more. And I kind of don't want to use a key. Cause she's just not not at all like she's not better than anybody else to a point where I'd be like yeah I gosh I needed one um say so yeah, this is what I was waiting for over here uh so so yeah I don't like everything I have the 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 perfect uh what was she called <laughs> Cynthia yeah I think I know somebody called Cynthia so I should be able to remember that but I don't, I don't, personally, I don't call them Cynthia. I just know that that's their real name. It's not their, uh, it's not their alias, though. Um, but yes, yeah, Cynthia. Got a Cynthia, and then I think, believe it's Empress Cynthia, when you get some sort of collar thing or whatever. Um, I should be using these, this Vitality, so that I can use the Vitality. Uh, by that I mean use the castle, which is the, the thing that I should have said the first time around. <laughs> Two chapters left. Two chapters left to the legendary Moonlight Sculptor. Might finish him tonight. Might. Well, <sighs> there are like two chapters left of the good translation. I've had this, I've, I've mentioned this before in the recent episode, so I won't dwell on it too much, but uh, I don't know. It, it all depends on how, uh, you know, chapter, chapter 10 ends that'll let me decide if I want to try to read the really shitty translations or just give up and wait until somebody else does it or I fucking learn Korean which is probably more likely to happen uh, and it's you know I mean it's still something that I want to do I just don't have the money to do it um, but hey you guys can help with that right give me money so I can learn Korean <laughs> I don't know um <clears throat> That's an investment, though, right there, right? If you uh, if you <laughs> you give me the money to learn Korean, I can then translate things, and then boom, you get a translator. Uh, everything I translate will, of course, be be free. Um, so there's that. I might end up reading stories that I I think <laughs> it would be really. I don't know how well it would work, but if I got really good at like Korean. Uh, I think it would be awesome if I could do a whole series where I read Korean in English, like, on the fly translating right there without ever, without, like, find a Korean web webtoon or, or novel and just start reading it and translating it into English, only talking in English and translating it all, like, word for word, like a, like a fucking interpreter does for, uh, for, for speeches and stuff like that. Um, so, I mean, I would have to get really good, but I think that would be really fun to do if I did get really good. So, yeah, if you give me a bunch of money, then I can do that. <laughs> I don't even think there are any viable options there for you to, uh, to be, be able to give me any money currently. Um, in May, when I turn 18... I can then fix my PayPal because it doesn't like me because I'm not an adult. <laughs> uh, 
I had an account and then I tried to switch it to a business account, but in order to have a business account, you need to be over 18 and I don't know how to switch it back and I don't know if it, if I switch it back, it still might try to check how old I am. So it's just, just gone, just dead, dead in the ground. Uh, so there's none of that, none of that at all. Um, but <laughs> yikes. Uh, so like even like right now as it stands, I can't collect any money that I make uh from from youtube so whatever uh this is like <laughs> i almost like i want to say this has never really been uh like a like a thing for money but it always kind of has been a little bit um that's like i mean i'm gonna be honest because that's who i am and say that you know yeah i um i hope that on an eventual level, I will be able to make a living off of this, but it's really hard to get to that point. Uh, so I don't know. Oh, hello, train. How you doing, buddy? It's been a while. Been a while since you've uh, since you stopped by, hasn't it, train? I don't know. It's probably been like two days. I always like I forget what happens in these episodes every time I make an episode. I could be saying the same shit every time and have no idea. Uh, which would explain some of the decline. <laughs> No, I'm pretty sure I'm not repeating myself. Sometimes I am, actually. Sometimes I, I, uh, I do do that. I do do! Yay! I also really like saying do do. If, uh, people didn't, uh, people didn't pick up on that one, it's true. It's, it's uh, hashtag Zeke likes do do. Put it, it's trended on Twitter. Fucking hell. I don't think anybody follows my Twitter. <laughs> I don't even post to my Twitter. I don't like Twitter that much. I don't even know why I have a Twitter. Oh, gosh, I don't know. I want to use my Twitter for, like, I don't know. Twitter Twitter would be a good way for people to get in contact with me and for me to do, like, events and things and shit like that. So Twitter, Twitter is kind of, like, way down the line kind of shit. If I want to, like, want to set up some shit with, like, bigger YouTubers, Twitter Twitter works for the uh, the initial conversation and stuff like that. So Twitter, Twitter, I have the Twitter. Uh, I just don't really use it. <laughs> Um, right now, you, you can, it is like, it is possible to get in touch with me via the, the, the comments. Uh, I also have a, a kick, as Zeke Dillagaff is a kick, and there's a kick chat too, if you can use hashtags, but nobody's used that in like a year. Uh, but there's a kick, Zeke Dillagaff, there's also... There's a line chat, but I don't use that, and there's a Discord chat, but I haven't used that in fucking forever, so I should really just take that out of the, uh, take that out of the description of the YouTube, um, because, yeah, I mean, there, it exists, but I just haven't used Discord in a really, really long time, uh, oh, I forgot I was doing this, I haven't finished my job yet, I wanna, <laughs> I was leveling, I was leveling her. Uh, whoops. <laughs> I was wrong. I, well, I'm not, I'm not done yet. But no, I haven't used Discord in a really, really long time. Uh, I just don't even have it on my phone. Uh, it might be on my computer, but I don't fucking use my computer. So Discord is not the best means to, uh, to, uh, to reach me. Uh, as I was saying, right now, the comment section com works completely fine. Um, because I see and read every comment. I may not respond to every comment. Shout out to Champion. I think she's very pretty. Um, but I do I do read the comments. Uh, I do do. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what that was. Uh, yeah, I look at I look at the comments and I read the comments. Because I get a notification for, for them still. So I look at those and I read those and I like them. And it's fun to see all those. But I don't really have the time or the effort or the, the, the care to respond to every single one of them. Uh, it's not that I don't like you, it's just that, um, a lot of times it's unnecessary, um, because there are other things that I can do, so I don't respond to every comment, yeah, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know if that's mean, I don't know, I do respond to some things if I have a, a worthy response, but, uh, a lot of times I look at things and... Usually, if it's, if it's like a specific thing, like somebody asks me a question regarding, uh, like, like somebody was talking about, um, whether or not one of the summons was a good idea, 
Uh, and I just like, I let them know personally, like, you know, it's, you got to look at your team and what works best for you because summons, doing, doing the summons, you have to like, the event summon is always good for the event because of the points, but if you don't give a shit about the event, then you have to look at the other stuff. So that's what I told them. But a lot of the times I also like to, like, if it's a question, um, that's, that's less personal, uh, or maybe like a question about me even um i i usually just keep it in the back of my mind and i try to mention it in the video uh so that more people would have an answer to that um so if you ask me a question in the comments and i don't respond watch keep watching videos until i say something about it and if i don't say something about it ask it again and then continue to keep watching videos. <laughs> um, sometimes, if it's just almost irrelevant, then I won't just won't even won't even bother. But I should uh, I should do this while I have the. Uh, I can only do two at a time, but that's fine. I'll just offset. Um, should be able to make enough resources to do the other two in that time and just go back and forth with it. But um, what was I doing? Uh, yeah, let's start at the end. Um, gosh, kind of got to sneeze. Don't like sneezing on uh, when when recording. It's a it's just a ridiculous and loud sound. It's just not not necessary at all. Uh, <laughs> so goodness gracious. Uh, yeah, I kind of don't have much to say this episode. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just still. I'm just still thinking a whole lot about fucking Legendary Moonlight Sculptor because it's like, God, I love it, and I'm just so sad that it's gone. It's like, it's like I don't know, and it's more annoying too. And it's it's always annoying when something gets stops getting translated because it's like you know there's more out there, but you can't read it, <laughs> so it's even worse. Like, like, uh, like when a really good anime ends, it's sad. But but when a really good, like, if a really good anime were to stop being translated, to stop being subbed, it's worse, kind of, because then it's like, like, I know I can watch more of this, but I can't understand it. Um, you might not think that that happens, but it happens. It's happened to me, like, twice, and I still watch the show. Uh, I, um, maybe once. Once that I can think of. And if you give me enough time, I would recall the name, but right now I don't recall it. But there was an anime about, you know, lollies or whatever. It was like a short and it was like four minutes and they just like completely gave up on, uh, on translating and subbing it at like the fourth episode. And I was like, I like this. So I watched it anyway, cause it's very simple. And I was able to pick up enough words from my barely of an understanding of Japanese as well as a lot of um context like visual context and stuff like that to understand most of it and uh it was still a lot of fun uh that's also where I learned the term uh shimapan <laughs> it's um it means uh striped panties um it's just you know they just said that word a lot and they, they, they looked at striped panties, and I was—I I put it two and two together in my head. Pan for pansu, and Shima must mean striped. And it's just boom, there it is. Um, <laughs> so that's, yeah. Oh God, what was that called? It was like, I know that it was the combination of the two of their names, and it was also. I don't know if it was exactly based off of it, but the two voice actors that. Did it also do their own little radio show? So that's kind of where it spawned. But the story might not have. The story might have just been like, because the story was about um a fucking middle school or elementary school or some shit like that. Uh, so I don't know if the. Mm, I don't think the story was actually based off of their lives right then and there. But I don't know. I really like the pair. So if I ever learn Japanese, then I'll probably try to track track that one down. Uh, cause that's. It's just a lot of fun to uh to to watch that anime and I like I like I uh, just it's just fun fun little fun little uh fun little duo. Um it just had a really long name and I just know it was a combination of the two of their names. 
but I just just can't remember it at all. Uh whatever. Just doesn't doesn't matter. Nothing matter. <laughs> oh gosh, you might get tired of hearing this, but I'm still gonna say it anyway. I am not at all prepared for school tomorrow. <laughs> That's gonna happen a lot. Uh, <laughs> yikes. Like, I don't know. I'm not sure exactly what I need to do. I think there was some math homework or shit that was due yesterday that I didn't do. Uh, still don't have the math textbook and no idea what, um, what the English teacher wants from me. I think I need, like, folders or some shit. Uh, if that hits one of the buffs, then we get a perfect first turn. Didn't hit one of the buffs. Um, but, yeah. It's interesting, with this setup, um, activating all, if all the skills got activated first turn, it's actually, like, it's, it's exactly the same if these four skills got activated first turn, or one of these, one of these, and one of these got activated so long as hers got hurt, because... Uh, when hers activates, all three of theirs activates. And the most damage you can do, first turn, would be for her to use her skill after getting four buffs. So, what would happen would be, if these two went off, you'd get two buffs, and then her, she, would give those two buffs, and you'd still get to use her skill. And if one of them went off, and one of them went off, and she activated the other one, then you'd still get two buffs, and then that one would two more buffs, and she got to use her skill. Uh, so there is there there are two situations, uh, or well, a couple couple situations where three activations would still give you um, the the absolute like the most thing you can do, and would be would look and be technically exactly the same. If there were to be all five activations, because then you would get one, two buffs, and then her skill would already be there, and you wouldn't use it. Uh, and then her skill would be there, and you could use it, but you just wouldn't need to. Uh, you could use it and get another buff, but if her skill were there, then you would get two more buffs uh, that that you needed to finish off the thing. So yeah, these two are are kind of useless in a in um in that scenario. If you want to do uh, if you want to get perfect first turn, uh, then like, yeah, you don't actually need all five skills activated. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I think, I think that my, my point was, um, was that it was, uh, all five skills being activated at once is not an impressive feat because the exact same thing can be achieved with three skills activated at once. The exact same outcome will, will happen. Uh, there's like, I don't know, um, there, well, <sighs> technically, while it's extremely unlikely, what could happen would be, um, please don't kill, God damn it! I wasn't paying attention to how much they had uh, done, but what could happen would be if there were two enemies or three enemies, what you would do, uh, if they got all of them activated, you could do, uh, buff, buff, and then use her to go over there and buff another one and then use her skill and hope that out of like out of the seven different hits uh one of them survives um which i guess is possible in a in a um in a the uh, another environment in the uh the the, the fantasy archwitch kind of situation uh yeah her um the center one would, would would probably survive that because it wouldn't it wouldn't even be all nines it would be um uh fives or so because that's three buffs and then you would use wingless and get another one more buff you'd only need one more and then go for all nines and that would be a first turn kill as well can you get it hmm i guess well how many let's let's see what is she four right it takes uh four nines to kill her yeah because it would right one two three four versus uh, 30 er, i don't know how to numbers here one two three four five six yeah because the nines is close 
to a million, and she's three million five hundred. So four of those would kill her. One to kill her. One to kill her. Um. So perfect run of this would. Uh, yeah, yeah. If you were to unleash the nines, then they would die. But if you were to unleash the fives. What is it? The other, the side two would most definitely die, and then you would have five left. So you'd have uh, five of the. It's almost half of the nines, right? So it's like, yeah. So she would survive. So she would survive with a little bit left, and then you could knock her out with the seven nines. So perfect. Okay. So in a fantasy archwitch, or I guess a. Uh, a legendary or uh well the the better fantasy which is still a fantasy then all five activations is still better than the three activation scenario i posed before <laughs> see what happens when i have nothing to talk about um i don't know i just you know just got a little technical there just started thinking about uh things or whatever um Gosh, I don't know. I want to read more Kumo. I have, like, I said I would do it... When I recorded it, I said I would do it yesterday. Uh, but I didn't. And I didn't today either. And I don't need to. I just want to. Uh, I want to build up... Because I just really want to read it. So I just can just can build up just a shit ton of... Uh, just um, uh, extras or whatever. Just backlogged. So that I don't have to worry about it. But also... Um, so that I can read it a lot more, because it's getting into a really cool part. Uh, it's just got me so excited. And, it's just <laughs> and also, uh, I would, it would um, keep my mind away from uh, Legendary Moonlight Sculptor. It's fucking two, really? Ah, gosh. Yeah, it would keep me away from uh, Legendary Moonlight Sculptor, even though I'm about to finish that. Uh, probably. Yeah, uh, I don't want to read the, sh the, the the bad translation, but I might. I might. I didn't want to yell shitty, but now I don't care as much. <laughs> the big old train, yelling over the train. I don't know. People love that, right? I don't know. Uh, this team can still kill them, but I'm just going to play it a little safer. Ah, <sighs> goodness gracious. <laughs> It's one of my favorite phrases in the world, if you hadn't picked up on that. I say it quite a bit. <laughs> it's a little southern. Uh, just picked that up from a little of the southern southern family. Because, uh, yeah, I got, I got some family down south. There's some family down south, family with a winery. Yeah, I talked about that before. That's, uh, that's, that's down south. Um, no, it's a lot of fun to be there. A lot of, uh, fun people. Um... I don't know. My sister had this weird idea that everybody was nice down south, and I was just like, I mean, family is nice, people who like you are nice, but don't expect fucking, like, like, she, because she was talking about how, um, like, the, the, all this waitresses and servers just kind of seemed like regular people, and I was just, yeah, yeah, because they're kind of regular people. <laughs> it's like, yeah, people that like you are nice everywhere, usually. Um, I don't know, it is, a, it, is a, it is a pretty cool place to be. Oh, look at that. Look at the time, look at out of the thing. Ah, uh, goodness gracious. Give me money. No, you can't. That's right. <laughs> oh, goodness. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Gosh darn it. What am I doing? What am I, what am I, no, I gotta end the episode. <laughs> Uh, maybe all the stress of uh, the how low the views are just getting in my head, making the videos worse. I don't know. I mean, you who who, who stuck through, finished it to the end. There's there's got to be a few of you. Uh, shout out to you. You're great. Take care of yourself. You specifically, you the one person who finishes the videos. <laughs> it it could be two or three. I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. I already said the thing, but I'm going to say it again. Take care. <laughs> Take care of yourself.